Hi, in this video I want to look at three of the city buildings that have got to do with defending your city. It's the wall, the truck factory and the watchtower. First let's have a look at the wall. Uh, the wall uh, plays an important role, actually it, uh, the wall can be equipped with uh, traps via the trap factory and it is equipped with wall defenses. If we look at the info on the wall, we see that the higher the level of the wall, the more wall defenses you have. So these wall defenses offer some yeah, measure of protection or actually how much your city has been uh, hit. If your wall defenses are depleted completely, then your city is going to random port to another location, which is of course not what you want. Each time you lose an attack, your wall defenses are damaged and via the uh, wall defense uh, menu you can actually uh, repair those wall defenses, but that's quite time consuming. You repair them uh, with 100 points for the in about 30 minutes time there's a cooldown timer, but you always have to pay attention that if your wall is, uh, yeah, is damaged to repair it as well. One thing to uh, notice that if your alliance participates in the Fallen Knights event, this can also damage your wall, so also repair it after that uh, event, but also of course after each uh, attack. So the, the wall is, uh, is after the stronghold the most expensive building to, to upgrade. Uh, but it is a prerequisite for each uh, stronghold upgrade, you actually are required to upgrade uh, the wall first um, to the previous level or the, to the same level before you can upgrade a stronghold. Uh, often the stronghold also requires one other building, but the wall is always a requirement, so you need to keep it up to date to grow your account uh, anyway. So that's it uh, for the wall. We are now going to look at the trap factory. Currently building some traps here. Uh, the trap factory is where you uh, build your traps, and the traps help you uh, defending your city together with the troops that are in your city. They also fight uh, whenever your city is uh, attacked. So increasing the trap factory increases the total capacity you have for traps, and it also increases the um, yeah the queue or the trap construction capacity they call it here it means how many traps can you build at the same time in addition uh, it also unlocks uh, more traps at certain uh, levels every uh, other level you upgrade uh, another trap is uh, unlocked these traps uh, come in uh, three uh, types. Um, those are the dropped traps, the stationary traps and the targeted traps. And they uh, all are strong against one specific troop type. So the dropped traps are strong against infantry, the stationary against cavalry and the targeted against bowmen. So instead of just building the, yeah, always the highest possible um, trap that is available, you can all, yeah, you can better pay attention to having a mix of the different type of traps so that you are better protected against all kind of uh, troops that are attacking you. Uh, these traps, besides those three different types, they come in uh, four different uh, tiers, so there are a total of 12 different uh, traps that you can build. But uh, yeah, as I said, the mix of those traps uh, those trap types is probably best for uh, for defense. There are uh, in the defense uh, research uh, category there are a lot of ways to improve the performance of your uh, traps. Uh, you have uh, uh, yeah projects that improve the trap attack, health, and defense. Also, the total trap capacity can be improved uh, via the uh, the research projects and also some other ways to improve that. There are also uh, talent points and gear um, and maybe some other ways to increase the production capacity or of traps. So it might be good to look into that as well if you're going to build a lot of traps because 
yeah, the the queue is quite small and it can take quite uh, still quite some time to build traps. So if you can increase that, if you want to build a full wall of traps, that can be helpful as well. If you want to uh, upgrade your uh, trap factory, you need to upgrade a sawmill uh, to the next level uh, first. And building traps is part of your daily rewards. So uh, every day at least build some traps so that you can get some points for your daily rewards. I always mention about that because I feel daily rewards are very important. Uh, daily rewards, uh, not only about the resources, it's uh, also a very important part is those uh, bonus, barbarian uh, bonus keys that you get there for the bonus uh, chests. Just mentioned that here, it's a bit uh, off topic, but keep doing those daily rewards because uh, you get a lot more goodies when you uh, are on barbarian rallies, when you have sufficient of those uh, keys. Um, if traps, um, yeah, traps are only involved in defending when there are also troops in the city. You can see it as a negative. If you have no troops, then your traps do not attack, uh, do not, don't do any damage to the attackers. But it's actually also, uh, you can see it as a positive because the traps don't take uh, part in the combat in such situations. They also don't die. And actually, if you only have traps and you have a, a big uh, attacker going for you, probably your uh, traps will be wiped out uh, completely and they are uh, very yeah, hard time consuming to rebuild so from that point of view it can also be seen as a positive because the traps are most valuable actually when you use them in combination with a large amount of troops so that's the way that uh, works uh, going on to the next building that we are going to discuss here which is the watch tower in the corner sometimes you can overlook this building it's actually outside your city wall I still see it as a city building so the watchtower has two functions it helps with the uh, reports you get when you scout opponents and it helps uh, with the reports you get from incoming marches so you see here that there are a number of benefits and they continue until level 22 each time you either have new benefits in the, for the incoming marchers or new benefits from the scout. New benefits meaning you just get more information about those incoming troops and more information about in those uh, scout reports. So that is very, uh, very useful. The, there's also a scout prevention level and what's uh, interesting there is uh, if you have a very high scout prevention level, so basically meaning if you have a very high watchtower, then people who, yeah, who have a, a lower level watchtower of at least five levels uh, cannot, um, yeah, they cannot scout you though, so they cannot get any information when uh, scouting you. The scout uh, failed because of a too high difference between their uh, scout, uh, their watchtower, and your watchtower. So it's uh, maybe not really a reason uh, to upgrade your watchtower. I mean, I would say those reports that you get are more important, but it's definitely an additional benefit of, uh, of doing that. So when you are being attacked, you can go to this uh, lookout menu where you can see information about the uh, incoming uh, marches. And so depending on the the level of your uh, watchtower. Upgrading your watchtower requires a farm to be upgraded at least uh, to the same uh, level. So I think this is it for these defensive uh, buildings. Um, yeah, defense is an important uh, part. Having many many troops is, uh, I would say, is the most important. But uh, these buildings, in their own way, can help uh, as well. And in the, I already mentioned it a bit in the. Uh, university there is a defense uh, research category that has a lot of different ways to help you with defense as well so it can increase the wall defenses so the wall defenses uh, that are determined by the level of your uh, wall are in can be increased by this research as well we mentioned about the trap attack defense and health also city defender attack defense and health which is the 
yeah, the, uh, in increases those boosts for your defending uh, troops, so that is very helpful as well. So this is the, the trap capacity. So do some research here as well. I've not done that much. I should do more, but yeah, there's so much research to be done. But doing research here also helps you in defending your city. So I hope this has given you an idea of the, yeah, the meaning of those uh, three buildings. And uh, yeah, I hope this, uh, this helps you defending your uh, cities against attacks. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to share in the comment section. And thanks for watching this uh, video.